Welcome to the Casually Fit Podcast with your host Nicole and David. We are just your regular guy and gal here to talk to you about everything health, fitness, and overall life balance. Because health looks different on everyone. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Casually Fit Podcast. I hope you guys are doing well. So it is a solo episode today. David will be back in the future, but I wanted to sit down and have a little bit of a chat with you guys. I just released a course and I wanted to kind of give more of detail or in-depth talking about it because I feel like I can only talk about it so much on my social media. Like I can't talk about it on YouTube and stuff like that. But um, when it comes to TikTok and Instagram, it's a bit hard to do kind of that longer form content and sit down and just have a little bit of a chat. David will be back. And before we get into it, I do want to apologize. It has been a while since we uploaded. As most of you guys who listen to us know, like this is probably not like our number one priority project. Uh, We try and do it as often as we can. However, we have been extremely busy and We've been trying to get a lot of things done now that the weather's starting to feel better, uh, feel better, be better. Um, It's been a bit crazy, but yeah, so we've been trying to find the opportunity to record. And when we finally had the opportunity to record, I ended up hurting my back and (laughs) it was pretty bad. Um, If you guys have listened to previous episodes, I've had issues with my back, which I'm really having a hard time with it because of my posture. My posture changed a lot since pregnancy, so I'm just having continual back issues, and it really sucks. Um, So I wasn't going to be able to sit down, especially because we record in the gym, and uh, to try and sit down in the gym would have been really, really hard for me. So we ended up missing that, and then we ended up getting sick Cove got the, uh, like gastro flu inflow. I don't know what you call it. Um, for the first time, which was not fun. And then David got it. And then I got it. It was like, just like a domino effect. And I thought, you know, David got it. And I was like, okay, I'm actually feeling okay. And then all of a sudden it hit me so fast. And I was like, oh, this isn't good. Anyway, so we've been sick, but then after that, we've been just, bus- there's just been so many things going on. And especially with the launch of this course, this course has taken up a lot of my um, time and trying to make sure everything's organized and good. And I want it to be good for everyone because I've been pouring a lot of my like heart and soul into this because I just want people to have a good relationship with your their bodies. And that is really what the course is all about is healing the relationship with your body. Whether that's the thing, a lot of people are like, is this body positive? It doesn't need to be positive. It can just be neutral. I just want you to make sure that you're not going down a bad path with your body image because it's so easy to get caught up in so many things that are happening in our lives and start like really shitting on our body. And so I was like, no, like I want to create something that somebody can go to. And that's the thing you can go to this whenever you want. Like that is what's one of the biggest aspects is like, you can always have access to this course and this course will always be available to you. So we're going to have our ups and downs with our bodies. And I think about all the different stages I've gone through of my body changing and having to like work through those feelings again, especially when it came to pregnancy, the whole pregnancy journey, your body changes very, very fast. And then the postpartum, your body's changed. And even after that, it changed. It, it's always up and down. So That is why I wanted people to have like unlimited access to this. And I just want to say like I'm getting this episode out on Monday. And so you have until April 28th to get the deal. So normally the course is $80 and I am uh, releasing the course for the first like 10 days. Unfortunately, this is like not going to be released uh, right in the beginning. So the course uh, for the first 10 days, I'm doing a discount for $55. And if you're in the 50, oh, sorry, $55 Canadian. So if you're in the US or Europe or take currency of the British pound that comes to like $35, I think, or like $40. Like it's a lot cheaper for you guys. (laughs) You lucky ducks. I tell you, you know, like the Canadian dollar is not doing so hot. (laughs) Um, anyways, it is what it is. And so yeah, if you're in a different country, then you 
kind of get a little bit more of a discount to it. So that being said, um, when you're listening to this, uh, it is on sale right now until April 28th. If you're listening past April 28th, I'm sorry. You should have listened to this as soon as I released it. Um, but yeah, uh, so we're going to get into it. Uh, also, I just want to say thank you to anyone who signed up. And if you're listening to this, I ha- I was... Literally, I was like, you know what? I'll just be happy if one person buys the course, you know, (laughs) like if one person buys it and a bunch of people bought it and I just like cried. I was like, oh my God, people trust me. People like have faith in me. Like, that's so cool. Um, And I just want to make people feel good. Like that has always been my thing. And with my social media, like I've always wanted people to feel good about their bodies because you deserve it. Everyone deserves to feel good about their bodies. Nobody deserves to hate their body and be have a bad relationship with their body. And I just, I don't know. I wanted people to be able to really work on some internal things because that's really what it is, is working on it internally. And that's why I called this be your own best friend because we can really be great friends to other people and not be good friends to ourselves. And at the end of the day, it is who, like we come back to us, like our body, our life is all within us. And it's so important to be our own best friend. And when I thought of the name of this course, that just resonated with me so, so much. So yes, please, if you get anything out of this, be your own best friend. You deserve to be your own best friend. So this course is technically six weeks. I broke it up into like six modules, but at the end of the day, you can go as fast or as slow as you want with this course, however much time you can take. I would say like there's videos and workbooks for each week. And I would say it probably takes like the video is about 20, 25, 30 minutes um, of me just talking about different things, like the different, uh, modules. Um, and then the workbook can be done pretty much at your own pace. I would say it would probably take 20, maybe max 30 minutes. And then there is like, I call it homework. Uh, the homework is, um, you know, like it's really done throughout the week. That's why I had it done for six weeks so that you have time to be able to, uh, do the work you know, implement the work, implement the homework kind of thing and implement it into your life. And so, yeah, um, we, that's pretty much like the quick rundown of it. And then there's two weeks, I believe week four and week five off the top of my head have meditations. And a lot of people are probably like, oh no, not that. Why would you have that? Um, they're not really like ohm meditations. Like I'm not sitting there going, ohm, let's quiet at the voice in our head. It's more like a visualization of just like, one of the meditations is really just like, appreciating your body. And the other one is like an affirmation one. And I find them so impactful. And I think that they're so, so important. And they're like less than 10 minutes, I think. I don't know. I also just did the affirmation one super last minute. It had come to me like as I was kind of finalizing finalizing everything for the course. And then I was like, no, I need to add this in because I just really feel like People need to hear affirmations and hear such beautiful affirmations. So yeah. Um, Anyway, so we start with week one. And before we start the course, like I'm not going to say that my course is like the end all be all and everyone needs to take this course or else like you're never going to have a good relationship with your body. And like, I don't want people to think like that, like this will 100% solve your problems and everything like that. Like if there's bigger issues, I highly recommend you obviously, obviously see a therapist. Um, but at the same time, like, I think that it's so important to keep understanding, keep learning, keep going on your journey. I want this to be a major stepping stone in your journey that you can have the tools and the mindset shifts to be apply it, to be able to apply it to different things in your lives. And if you learn something else along the way to kind of bring that into your kind of into your, uh, toolbox kind of thing. Like I didn't want this course to be like, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't want you to think like this course is going to be like the one thing that's going to, you know, change my life. I want this to be part of your journey and I want this to help you of course. And I know it's going to help you. Trust me. I know it will. Cause it has helped me so much. And I've done this course a couple times and I'm so proud of it, but at the same time, it has kind of helped me 
kind of realign my mindset and I just kind of take things in as much as I can. And these, like literally this course is like everything that I've learned over so many years and just applied it into this course. So yeah, just like feel like this is a really big stepping stone and something that can really help set you up for success. But I want you to keep learning, keep developing, keep understanding all those things. Like that is something that's so important. That is something that I always say is never stop learning, growing and trying. And I will keep on saying that because we need to keep growing. If we want to be better people, we need to keep learning. We we need to keep growing and we need to keep trying. So (laughs) that being said, Uh, we'll start about with week one and week one is just pretty much like a general overview. It seems super like I find week one sounds a little mundane. (laughs) That's really the best way that I could put it. It's really just like kind of doing a little bit of a self-assessment is yeah what I say. Um, so it's just kind of figuring out who am I currently and like where you are in your life right now, just seeing the things that you are doing right now in your life, what your relationship with your body looks like. And then we kind of shift into like who you want to start showing up as, because at the end of the day, like where you are right now, you might not be feeling great, but you want to be showing up as someone who is feeling either more confident, more self-asserted, I can't speak uh, in themselves, habits that you want to have. How do you want to dress? Do you want to start dressing more, putting more effort into your outfits? Like, how do you want to start showing up? Because I think that's important to kind of start seeing how we want to look in the future uh, or seeing how we want to look in, well, the future with a better relationship with our body is what I'm trying to say. Um, Also, we talk a lot about social media. We're just kind of touching on everything and it seems super surface level, but eventually we get into it. Um, And then we also talk about core beliefs. Core beliefs are something that is pretty important and something that I think a lot of us don't realize. Like we have, a lot of us have good core beliefs about us. Like a lot of us believe like, you know, like I'm a good person, I'm a good friend and like, that's great. But sometimes we have core beliefs of like, I need to look, I don't know, I need to lose a certain amount of weight to be attractive for a partner, which (laughs) is not true. Or everyone's looking at me and judging me if I wear this outfit, like if I wear sports bra and shorts to the gym, you know, like those are just kind of some examples. And those are really just like negative core beliefs or core beliefs that just don't serve us for our self-development and our own good. And so we also say like what new ones we want. And then we also set up some goals. I wanted to kind of have a little bit of a, not like an intense goal necessarily. It really is up to you how you want to uh, create a goal and kind of work through that goal. Because I believe we should always have little bits of goals uh, whenever we start doing something. Um, So I wanted you guys to have a goal to be able to use that goal to work through um, this course. It's super, like I'm talking super generalized. And then we also talk about gratitude. This is something that's so important. Um, being just grateful for everything that we have is important because we're in a society that's always about like hyper consumerism and competition and -and so-and-so has this, and I wish I had this and I want this and I want this, which it's fine to want those things. That's okay. But it's also, important to look around and realize like what you have in this moment and bring yourself back to the present because it's so easy to look at the negative all the time and be like, well, I don't have this. I don't have enough money. I don't have a nice mansion, blah, blah, blah. And okay, that's fine. (laughs) Um, But you also have a roof over your head. You have a car that you can drive to work. You have a body that's able to show up into the gym, show up for you every single day, and you're able to nourish it. You're able to breathe because you're literally alive doing this course. So it's just something that I think we really, really need to recognize. Um, And then week two is something that I really wanted to touch on because it's something that's pretty deep, I think. And a lot of us don't realize that it's happening. And when I learned about limiting beliefs, it literally changed how I view so many things in life. So limiting beliefs are pretty much just like a belief that we have that kind of stops us from living our life. So they're either acquired from interactions we've had or just beliefs that we've 
been given from our parents from growing up. And like, I'm not throwing parents under the bus or whatever. Like a lot of parents do the best that they can do, but sometimes we get a lot of limiting beliefs. And I can't believe how many limiting beliefs I have from my childhood in so many different areas of my life. And a lot of limiting beliefs around my body came from my childhood interactions I had. And a lot of them came from what I was consuming on like social media or just media in general. Uh, If you grew up with like the special K commercials and the itsy bitsy polka dot bikini, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Um, The kind of Victoria's Secret model era, you know, like that. And uh, a lot of those beliefs that I had or I grew up with really stuck with me and really affected how I viewed my body for a very long time. So it's this is what week two is probably the most important week because we're working through, um, our limiting beliefs and it's definitely not easy. I would say week two is probably the hardest and I sometimes have a hard time. And even then, like that's what we can be looking at some of the limiting beliefs now in this course, and you can be doing the course now and some limiting beliefs, like different kind of versions of that limiting belief might pop up, but learning to be aware of them is so important and so just essential to our growth and like stopping those limiting beliefs because we have these limiting beliefs, but it doesn't mean that it's truth. Like it's saying like, I grew up poor, so I can't be rich. You know, like that's a huge limiting belief. It's like, no, like there's people who grow up poor and end up being rich or even like I will, it's similar to core beliefs. That's a huge thing is that our limiting beliefs influence our core beliefs and then they become core beliefs if that makes sense so that was like when I was saying core beliefs like um you cannot be loved if you look a certain way or a certain weight or you will never be seen as fit this was a huge one for me I'll never be seen as fit if I don't weigh a certain amount or if I don't have abs like visible abs I mean we all have abs but (laughs) I don't have visible abs um that was something that I had to work through because I was like no like I can still be healthy and not have visible abs or not be a size two or four and um yeah it was just like kind of unlearning those limiting beliefs and every time I had those thoughts or that voice in my head telling me like no this is a limiting belief like or not that it's telling me like no you can't do this um and I would recognize okay this is actually just a limiting belief like that's not truth like anything can happen. And that's what a lot of people don't realize that we tend to put ourselves in these boxes and tend to think like, oh my God, uh, I can't do this because of this and this and this. And then when you actually stop and think, uh, actually I can, like nobody can stop you from trying to pursue whatever you can pursue. And it's going through that and pushing through those limiting beliefs because it really just sucks if we keep letting those limiting, limiting beliefs, I keep saying that, take a shot every time I say limiting beliefs, my God. It's important that we work through them and not let those stop us and let let them like, not let them take it, uh, what is the word that I'm trying to say? Advantage of our life and letting us, not letting us live the life that we want to live is something that I think is so important. And we really, really break it down for those limiting beliefs because we don't want those. We don't want those to stop us. Um, And so, yeah, we could pretty much do that. And then for week three, like I'm giving a very general overview. Obviously, we go into more detail on these things. But week three is two parts. And I feel like part one might kind of throw some people off because Uh, Part one is like vibes, like high vibe, low vibe kind of thing. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's weird hippie shit. I'm really just saying like good and bad. That's really what it is. Um, And it's like learning what makes us feel good and what makes us feel bad at the end of the day. (laughs) Like it's as simple as that. I know a lot of people like if I say high vibe or high energy, low energy, whatever, a lot of people are like, oh that sounds too woohoo for me no thank you and I'm like it's really not that woohoo it's just really like good versus bad like what makes you feel good and what makes you feel bad and then part two to week three is comparison I thought comparison was something that was so so important to talk about uh, because we live in a society uh, that's just filled with comparison all the time it's ingrained into our minds everything that we do especially I find western society is like 
all about comparison. It's just all the comparison, everything, this, and competition, this. Anyways, um, I actually learned or heard a story about really what stems comparison from or com- where comparison stems from. The mega, my brain. Um, it was about like a tribe. <laughs> I think this is interesting. It's like back when we were in our tribal days, we would compare ourselves to see if we were fit compared to the people around us, because if we weren't fit, we'd kind of be kicked out or, you know, taken down kind of thing. Um, so we always need to compare ourselves to uh, another tribe member to make sure that we are still fit to be able to be part of the tribe. Anyways, just an interesting thought to think about. So Then we move on to week four, and um, that's pretty much like we have kind of gotten into things, Uh, and it's all about mindfulness and being present because it's very easy to kind of not be mindful of the things that we're doing, and this is where we bring in the meditation to kind of bring ourselves back to the present, and two things I really wanted to talk about when it came to mindfulness because when it comes to our body image, I think that these two things are very important, and that is our nutrition or the food that we eat and um, physical activity. So sometimes when it comes to those things, a lot of emotion gets involved, especially for food. So I wanted to make sure that we're kind of, t- we're it's surface level, okay? Like we're touching on it surface level because I felt like, you know, mindfulness can be something that you can really dig into. And I really encourage that if you want to be more mindful, you really dig into it more, especially when it comes to uh, physical activity and our nutrition, because it is so unique for each and every one of us, especially nutrition. Some of us deal with different eating disorders, things like that. So I didn't want to go too deep because I felt like it's important that maybe you take that journey on your own because our journeys are so different and we kind of just touch on it surface level, which isn't a bad thing, uh, but it's also something to be aware of because some things we might not be aware of, like our emotions influencing the food that we eat or our emotions influencing how we approach the gym. Like if we need to burn off calories because we eat too much, like that kind of thing. It's just learning to be mindful and not let those uh, things control you. And then we move on to week five where we're kind of starting to wrap things up And we kind of break up the formula into more tangible steps. So we want to, I wanted to have this kind of week that you're able to come back and take everything that we learned over the weeks and break it down into the steps. Because like I said, I want you to have access to this all the time. So you're going to be able to come back to this course. But if you need a reminder about a step, you can go into more detail to that week. But if you need to work through like, an issue or just a thoughts or feelings, whatever you're having more quickly, then you have the steps there. It's about nine steps, which isn't too bad, but you're able to just kind of write it out and like kind of break it down and work through it more quickly than doing obviously five weeks of the course or six weeks total, but five weeks of the course. So if you feel like you need to break it down a little quickly, I gave a week for that. We're also talking about raising our minimums because (laughs) When you started the course, you were definitely accepting minimums uh, at a very like much lower place, whereas now I want you to kind of step those minimums up. Um, and then we kind of wrap things up with week number six. We talk about the goal that we set in week number one um, to kind of see how you're at. Maybe you weren't able to fully concretely work through it, but you're doing better and you just need more time, which is totally fine, or you were able to work through it, which is absolutely great. Um, and it's kind of just stepping into that new version of you fully, like really embracing yourself and your, uh, relationship with your body just way more and just being more accepting. So I'm going to kind of leave it there. I know, <laughs> I feel like this was just like really quick, <laughs> um, which it was, uh, cause I definitely could have gone in more detail, but then I'm giving away the entire course. So (laughs) if you want to sign up for the course, you can, I will have it linked in the show notes. If not, you can go to my Instagram, which is Nicole underscore Marsh, N-I-C-O-L-E underscore M-A-R-S-H. It's there, or you can go to my website, www.nicole, N-I-C-O-L-E, Marsh, M-A-R-S-H dot net, N-E-T. There you can go to the courses and it will give a little bit more detail if you want to learn more about it. But my course is hosted through, it's called Thinkific. 
Um, and you can go there and like click on the button on my website and it'll bring you there. Uh, so you can do the course there because I obviously wanted you to have access to this no matter when you need it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little quick one. Hopefully David will be with me next time. And yeah, thank you guys so much for listening and I will see you guys, or I won't see you, but I'll chat to you guys in the next potty episode. Bye guys.